Welcome everybody, Red Arrow 23 here, got another playbook episode and today we're going to be looking at Titan. So let's jump into it, Ninkit's going to kick us off with some green action. Um, so because of all these machine guns, greens obviously outrange machine guns if you didn't know by now, um, and they can just sit in the middle there and just clear out a whole bunch. And there's so many defenses that he can just collect for um, extra GBE. And what he's going to do with that um, extra GBE, so he's going to flag them all nice and low um, and just let them walk onto their targets as they go. He's not going to flare group them together because they'll, um, if they clump up, one will, they'll start walking in front of each other and maybe get in range of these defenses. And the main reason behind his attack is to take out these two machine guns here. Um, it's, a, it's just a bonus that he's managing to clear the beach too. Um, but by harvesting all of the GBE that's down here on the um, beach he can afford to throw a whole bunch of barrage and artillery at the top there so he's taken out those two machine guns now and now he's working on the um, next one down and he's just using his GBE to like shock the um, snipers on the right hand side take them down a bit and take out some mortars maybe on this side outranging mortars with his grenadiers classic so that one's down so now everything's down and he just uses his critters, um, he can use barrage, whatever, they're probably getting pretty expensive by then. He doesn't need to worry about losing the delay on the critters, um, or on the rocket launchers because of the critters, because um, he's not going up there, that's fine. So there we go, great attack from Ninkers, cleared out that spot, um, and the reason that we were clearing out that spot is we're about to go there with all Zookas. So we're about to smoke some Zookas up there, Smooker style. So here we go, we got Fly, moving on up. So he's got a nice flare landing, um, you obviously want to watch these mortar rangers and he's flared up just before he's getting close to them and he's using that smoke right as soon as that rocket launcher is um, coming in range. So there we go, um, as soon as he's anchored around about where these fuel cells are, <clears throat> or if there are defenses down here you can still um, anchor on them. Then you want to flare right up in the top corner right against the wall as close as you can get to it. And then the Zookas will start walking in nice clean lines, either two or one. Um, and they'll be just walking perfectly up there. Last two smokes need to be double. Um, with the long throwing double smokes, I always suggest you throw the furthest one first because it takes longer to um, get there. They're both going to land at the same time. They both expire at the same time, which is awesome. And then we're going to be throwing out some shocks. So he flares the core, she throws out his shocks. Let's have a look at those. Um, so sometimes these cannons, like this can basically all be rocket launchers. Um, so if it is going to be all rocket launchers, you definitely need to throw like a shock on the shock launchers. Shock, shock. So you should be able to shock all 12 of those defenses in two shocks. Definitely need to shock um, this group of defenses here. And you'll notice that the machine gun on the far side of the core will pick off a few Zookas. So if you have the GBE, shock that as well. Um, and just look how close that shock launcher is to being in range as well um, So you got lucky it didn't turn the machine gun has popped off a few of his girls from the left hand side And then he's gonna go with a reshock And critters for the rocket launcher critters were late obviously um, But that's all good got some decent damage on the core nice work fly so nin could set him up and Fly is trying to knock it down and then we've got the finish by E-Dog. Um, probably, this attack was probably Mech. Uh, Mech attack, aka Long Van. So let's see. Um, fairly standard flare landing and then the group just up by the power cells using that smoke perfectly on the rocket launcher range and then he's flaring right up into that corner. It's nice, it's nice, I like it. Um, Mac likes to shock early. He's if you miss that, he actually threw the bottom smoke first, slightly earlier, and then threw the top smoke. And he's thrown critters into the um, smoke that's going to expire first, the lower one. So now when he comes out shocking, 
Um, the shock launchers on the left side will target the critters first. These zookas might have been these zookas right on the left might have also been in that smoke, um, but they're not going to be targeting the main body of zookas. These machine guns on the other side are starting to arc up, but that's okay because he's getting some mad damage. And he shocked that shock launcher before it could fire anyway. And the early med kit because he's showing the confidence. So there you go. That's one technique on how to take out Titan. Um, it works mainly when you have cannons or machine guns on the beach. So that your grenadiers can outrange them. And gather a whole bunch of GBE. Um, if you do have to go straight against like mortars for example. Um, then you could smoke Zookas just in front of them. Use a couple of shocks. And then just throw as much barrage up here as you can another consideration if they are machine guns it's probably um bartable. you'll probably be able to take it out with barrage and artillery uh, but you have to watch out when you if there's lasers up there or even some mortars if they're maxed out um, just check out the health boost on them make sure calculate it and make sure that you can gb it out because if the next attacker who's using az has to bark them out then it's going to really hurt their GBE for the, um, the four shocks or however many shocks it's going to be needing to use up there. So definitely check that out. Um, sometimes you can do exactly the same thing but on the other side of the core um, and sometimes you will have to definitely shock the other side if it is a laser or a doom cannon um, anything with more range than the machine gun you definitely want to shock it. So there we go, that's the Titan Grin Bart AZ um, playbook play. So give us a comment down below if you have any different techniques on taking out Titan. And give us a thumbs up, like the video, thumbs down if you didn't, and subscribe for more Boom Reach.